This used to be the way we tried to teach teenagers to drive. We literally tried to scare them into driving safely, but it didn't work. Accidents are the single largest killer of young people from 15 to 20 years of age. Surely there must be a better way. One such program is the Honda Teen Defensive Driving Program, held at the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course. But we're trying to teach the children the defensive driving skills, the skills that driver's ed can't teach them. You know, a lot of kids really need to get behind the wheel. You know, the classroom can only teach you so much, but actually getting out there, getting yourself behind the wheel and doing that. And we, we definitely want kids to push to the limit. We really want to see what that feels like for them. And, you know, the more we can do that, you know, I think the better off the drivers will be in the future. Driver's ed teaches you a lot of things like to control a skid and stuff but they don't actually let you go out and skid and actually feel like, okay, this is what it, they can tell you all day, but it's just the fact of going out and doing it. We do want to push them to their limit. It's kind of what we're here for. So, you know, if they hit a couple cones, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, it's better to do it here than it is out on the street. As a parent, what better investment can you make than your child's safety? You know, we talk about airbags and, and seat belts and all these and anti lock brakes, but I would argue that this is even more important. I took a driving, two-day driving school here about 10 years ago and I was really impressed with the quality of the people at Mid-Ohio and they talked up the driving course for new drivers and I knew that as soon as my daughter was of age and had her license that she should take the course. I got into a bit of a small accident last December. It wasn't anything too huge. I had kind of a lane change issue, but ever since then I've been a little bit uncomfortable behind the wheel. And so I really, I wanted to go out and try something like this because my dad's been pressuring me to do this for years. <laughs> but I finally decided it was time, now that I have some free time this summer, to actually go out and do this so I can feel more comfortable behind the wheel. I have no doubt she'll feel better in the car. Uh, more comfortable, I think, for everything from seat adjustment to mirror adjustment uh, and placement of hands on steering wheel will all be beneficial to her and her driving. When you get in the car, first thing uh, is to get the seating, the steering, the mirrors, and everything adjusted for you. When I tell someone to sit in the car, I usually get them with their shoulders all the way back on the seat, be able to touch your wrist on the top of the steering wheel. And then when you drive and be able to have a nice little angle in your arms, nice and comfortable, and then nine and three, the hand positions and everything. That's pretty much the big thing right there. Make sure you have enough room with your legs and just be nice and close to the wheel. A lot of people are driving like that or too far back and it's just you don't have any car control when you're like that. So. Having the lean going on, <laughs> I mean, that might be great for picking up the ladies if you're a guy, uh, but it doesn't do much for car control. Mirrors is definitely critical. Um, a lot of people have um, um, a, a safety thing with their car, if you will. They can look out, okay, we can see the fuel doors open. We can see the color of our car. We really got to get those mirrors out there so it limits our blind spots. A lot of blind spots are created because we don't have the mirrors properly adjusted and you want to reduce looking over your shoulder all right you really don't even want to see the quarter panels of your car you want to be able to see as far out as you can so if you get them properly adjusted you won't see the side of your car but yet you'll be able to see the left lane plus the shoulder out of the left mirror you'll be able to see the right lane plus the shoulder out of the right mirror I bought my older grandson here four years ago when he turned 16 and was so impressed with the school and the fact that through these four years there's been three or four different times that he has used what he learned here especially in this skid car. We try and teach him skid control, we try and teach him accident avoidance, we try and teach him wet braking, all the things that they need to know in order to survive while they're driving on the street and avoid being involved in an accident. Back in my day, I've been driving 25 years, you had to learn the stuff the hard way. You know, usually on an accident or, or spin it out or in, ended up in a ditch. You know, here they can, you know, get a lifetime's worth of learning. So uh, this is an awesome program. They, I, I wish they had it more in just about every state, you know. Usually when they leave here, you know, at the end of the day, they got a big smile on their faces. And that, for personally, for us is, you know, you did the job right. I think it's fun. I think it's, uh, it's been a good experience. Like, I've learned a lot of valuable, like, driving lessons. Yeah, I think that I learned a lot of good skills today. That I'm, hope I'll never have to use. It's a great return on investment, you know what I mean? It's anybody that would scoff at the cost, I, I'd ask them how much is their kid's safety worth, you know?